The best part about fly fishing is the places it brings us. Special places, teeming with life and beauty. These natural spaces almost always offer something of value. But some, they stand above the rest. Giant towering cliffs dropping straight into crystal clear pools loaded with trout. Join me as I film and fish this incredible water. Thanks for watching another Flicky Flies film. We're rocking a dry dropper today. Got a Chernobyl ant as my dry fly, and then uh, drop below that a little uh, size 14 waltz worm with some Shetland spindrift for the body. Water's pretty low today. Uh, we're in late autumn here. You know, that's kind of the par for the course. Dry droppers really work well in lower water because you can kind of let that dry fly float and just kind of float down its, at its own leisure and uh, get a more natural drift than if I were to try to try to tight line a place like this, which is usually my go-to for nymphing on a 10 car rod. They're really, really advantageous to tight line with, but um, today we're trying out that dry fly and uh, dropper. We'll see how it goes for us. Try right up at the head here. Some really good looking water, I think. Love these towering cliffs around me here. Really interesting looking place so far. A lot of fun. And uh, there's a fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> Heck yes. Nice decent sized fish here. Love it. What do we got? Nice brown. Awesome. Very nice. Well, that's a great way to start the day right there. Beautiful fish. All right. Ooh, just had a bite there. Missed it. Saw a fish turn as soon as I set the hook. It looked to be a pretty decent sized rainbow actually. There we go. There we go. Oh, he wanted that. My goodness. Oh, yeah. Line singing. What do we got? I can't tell. I can't tell. He's fighting pretty good, though. Oh, yeah. Man, this is a crazy spot here. Rainbow. Rainbow trout. Beautifully colored up rainbow trout. All right. We got a long line. That's the downside of this long dropper here. Ah, but we got him. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Well, there we go. Look at the patterns on that pretty rainbow. Browns, rainbows. <laughs> Who knows what else we might catch in here. See you, dude. Good stuff. I think anybody that's been fishing for more than a couple years will tell you, if you're not catching fish, try dropping your fly just a little bit lower. When the water gets colder and these fish get kind of schooled up in these deeper holes, yeah, you definitely want to uh, get that fly low, get it right in front of their face. If you can do that, you're most likely gonna have some good luck. I'm actually using the, uh, the Tenkara Rodco Rocky today, which is actually a very beefy Tenkara rod, but I figured there could be a chance for some bigger fish in here. And um, I wanted to come prepared just in case I hooked up to something. And I also really love using the Rocky anytime I'm chucking kind of some heavier uh, tungsten beaded flies because it just has the backbone to kind of cast those flies with authority. I see some fish actually right up at the head of the pool. They're held up feeding. Here we go, this should work, this should work. Oh, they hit it. They hit it 100%. Here we go again. Come on. There we go. There we go. Nice fish here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Heck yeah. Oh, what a spot. It's been an awesome day. Quality fish. 
60 degrees out. Absolutely gorgeous day today. Having a heck of a good time. Look at this nice rainbow. There we go. Yes, beautiful fish. Look at that beautiful fish. Man, great quality in this river. All right. Soaking in those last days of autumn fishing before winter gets here. <laughs> There's a dry fly eat. That fish just rocketed up for it. That was pretty cool. <laughs> a little brown. I'll take it. Heck yeah. Dry fly eats in uh, October. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. There we go. There we go. What do we got on now? Fighting real hard. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You coming right to me, huh, bud? You ready to get in the net? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Give me some room to fight you at least. <laughs> Took off straight for me. <laughs> that was, that was kind of cool. Man, these rainbows fight hard in here. Nice cold water. Oh yeah. Awesome. Oh yeah. Gorgeous fish. Uh, I just love seeing these healthy wild fish in this beautiful reflected light of this canyon. It doesn't get much better than that for me. Such cool topography in this place. You don't find you don't find water looking like this too often. Good cast here. I see some fish right below my fly right now. Come on, here he comes. <sighs> oh yeah, very cool. Saw that fish begin to rise. He ended up rocking it out of there. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Love to see that. All right. <laughs> Another beautiful wild rambo eating the dry. If you guys enjoy my videos, please consider leaving me a comment. Absolutely love hearing from you guys. One of my favorite parts about YouTube is the community that I feel I've built on my channel. And if I haven't heard from you, don't be shy. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, ideas for future videos, all that good stuff. There's a, there's a lot of fish. I see probably, I don't know, nine or 10 right here in this hole. But unfortunately they're very, very deep and my dropper doesn't even come close to touching them. This is a prime example of when uh, a Euro setup, man, I could, I could drift that right through there, no problem. I know I would have caught a fish that first cast, but we got the dropper on, the dry dropper. So we're gonna focus a little bit more on the slightly shallower, rapid up at the up at the head of the pool where the fish are going to be a little higher in the water column depths are a little bit lower overall but my oh my it is tempting to look down <laughs> see all those big fish down there that's for sure i like this cast here anybody hanging out see a big fish there right right as the rocks kind of drop off under my fly right now no luck that pass but I'm gonna keep making a couple more passes that was a really really nicely sized fish for sure he's still down pretty deep at the edge of this drop off but he could come up you never know All right, you know what? 
I'm gonna put a uh, I'm gonna put a tight line nymphing rig on. Put two uh, two heavy tungsten flies and uh, dredge through the bottom here. And I'm gonna show you guys how effective that can be. So let's uh let's try bringing the flies to them and see see what happens with that. So we replaced the uh, Chernobyl ant, the dry fly, with a just a size uh, size 14 Rainbow Warrior. Let's make some drifts through. We got the uh, size 3.5 level line as our indicator. Um, so our flies are gonna be a good bit deeper now. I'm rolling with, oop, there was a hit right there, right off the bat, first cast. Let's get back through here. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. There's a lot of really big fish down here. Come on. There we go. Woo wee. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's a good fighting rainbow right there. Yeah, I dredged him up from the bottom. The power of tight lining with some decently heavy nips on a long, 14-foot-long tenkara rod. Man, I've been I've been doing all right with the dry dropper, but uh, I'm back home now. <laughs> Your own nymphing or tight line nymphing on these rods. That's where it's at for me. So, so, so effective. As long as the water isn't too low, and as long as it's not windy, it just kills it every time. Well, how about that? One simple change, and we caught that beautiful rainbow. That's what it's all about. I love trying to pick apart some water, figure out some fish's habits, get the depth right, get the presentation right. It all pays off when you pay attention to these little details. I'm gonna submerge that indicator two, three feet down. Ideally, you really only want tip it under the surface of the water. You really don't want that indicator because it could definitely spook some fish off, but in this case, we need to go just a little bit deeper. So it's worth a try at least. Oh my goodness, nice fish, very nice, very nice. And he took the dropper, so that's the same fly that I had on um, when I was fishing the dry dropper, but that dry dropper just wasn't getting it down far enough. I love rainbows, such acrobatic fish. Oh yeah. This river has really turned out to be quite a surprise. The fishing has been just on fire today. It's been so enjoyable. All right. Well, it's been an absolutely incredible day out here, guys. Fishing new water, finding techniques that have worked. Such stunning scenery. The way that the cliffs just drop down into the river in this place, it's just a, a very, very unique quality that this river has. Thank you so much for watching me fish this place. I'm uh, so lucky to have you guys here. I enjoy the filming process. I enjoy the fishing process. Um, and I really appreciate you guys being here. So thank you for that. Oh my gosh, there we go. Deep, deep, deep hook set there. Nice fish. Absolutely love fighting rainbow trout, especially on Tenkara. You feel all the, all the power, man. They're just packed full of muscles. This will be the last fish of the day. <laughs> and we're ending with a bang. Beautiful fish, beautiful fish. All right, pulling like a freight train. <laughs> this is going to be uh, probably one of the last really excellent days of fishing that I'm going to have until uh, well into next spring. You know, it's late in the year here and we've been lucky to uh, find such willing fish almost into November now. Still got some nice fall color hanging around. Ah, it's just been great. It's been great. I'll try to remember this place as I uh, head into the dog days of winter. <laughs> It'll raise my spirits for sure. 
And there we go. Thanks again for watching, guys. Really appreciate you all. Creating these videos is quite a commitment financially. Between travel expenses and time spent both on the water and behind the computer, it all adds up. So in search of a more sustainable income, I've decided to start a Patreon. Patreon support will provide a more steady income, which in turn enables me to make more videos. So if you really enjoy what I'm doing here on YouTube, and you think you might be able to support me in a more direct and meaningful way, I would so appreciate you heading over to patreon.com slash flickyflies and becoming a member. There are all sorts of benefits to membership, such as exclusive behind the scenes content, being able to watch my videos ad free, as well as free flies for certain tier levels. The link is also down in the description below. Thanks so much for your consideration. If you'd like to watch me fish another spectacular canyon, click the video above.